Yes, what? You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nera? The thing that eats Terramorphs, the Asilis? Apparently, they were bloodhounds for Terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. If you pick a fight with one, or you're a Terramorph, sure. But Asilis were already spread across the galaxy once before during the Colony War. As livestock, they're far less of a danger than the one we're proposing to clean up. All our data suggests so. Asilis, they're impressive hunters. The few tests we've been able to run, well, they more than got the job done. They're also shockingly adaptable. The data suggests they're able to thrive just about anywhere, and we plan to selectively breed them so they can hunt terramorphs wherever they're hiding. Which is important, because we did some cross-referencing in the terramorph data. On worlds where Asilis were present, Terramorphs weren't. This suggests that however it is Terramorphs are getting onto our worlds, Asilis are somehow cleaning that up as well. These creatures are good at what they do. I... I suppose that's a fair comparison. Except that this time, we'd be protecting human lives, not ending them. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. A microbe, something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Percival assures me that they're minimal. He'll be able to encode safeguards against mutation in the agent's genetics, so that they stick to the task of cleaning up terramorphs. But the microscopic world has a tendency to behave in ways you can't always predict. So, to say there's zero risk would be a lie. Well, that's still not a hundred percent. But it sounds like the Vanguard will actually be picking up a fair bit of it. But there's no sense in hammering down those sorts of details before we've made a decision on which route we're taking. It would be the more efficient option. With either path, though, we're looking at a long-term commitment. Years of work. Even just getting these plans off the ground is going to take time. And all routes are going to require some highly specific materials to make things work. 
Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. <laughs> it's certainly not encouraged, but the UC's given their sign-off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. It's dangerous, yes, but Kaiser, Percival, and I, we've trained for this. And you're not so green yourself. And the last thing I want right now is for the UC to stick us with some gung-ho jarhead who's gonna put us and the mission at risk. Captain, you're the reason we're all here right now. You're the person I think can help us finish it. Will you join us on this? Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. Howdy. This is quite an impressive oh, research facility. Goddamn planet. When it comes to the study of you the romanticize a place when you're away from it for long. Now you. Oh, what are you? You project personnel? Supplies are for project personnel only. Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard. It sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in New Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city. So, um, thank you for what you did there. Yeah, they both came through okay. One science division, others an artist. Effectively useless human beings that would have had no reason to be anywhere near the fighting. Still, would hate to see anything happen to them. Now, what was it you needed? Don't worry. I'll handle the paperwork.
Good to be back on board. Ready here. myself on knowing everyone on this world, and I don't know you. You're with the collection team then, I presume. Either that, or you're one deeply unlucky trespasser. Vanguard, eh? Brief said you were an eclectic group. You must have really shined out on the fringe to get assigned a task like this. Ah, then this must be the rest of your outfit. Commander Hatoum, I'm... H no need for introductions, Major Simon. Dr. Walker, your reputations precede you, as does the urgency of your mission, so I'll get to it. Now, Londinian is one of the most dangerous places in the Milky Way. It's with good reason my soldiers and I do everything we can to avoid entering the city. Terramorphs are omnipresent, and the structural damage left behind when... when Major Sanon's father bombed its spaceport has turned large swathes of the metropolis into a decaying labyrinth. As such, we'll be providing you all with gear, information, and uploading municipal unlock codes to your robot. Every tool you could need to succeed out there. Except one. Once you're on the other side of those barriers, you will be on your own. If you get into trouble, my people will not be coming. Do we understand each other? Terramorphs, and plenty of them, Outside our little sanctuary here, much of the planet is theirs. For that reason, we keep our trips into the city to a minimum. That also means our intel becomes largely historical once you go much beyond the defenses. It's also why I want to make sure I'm being crystal clear. Out there, you're on your own. 
Precisely. I'll leave you to your preparations, then. You can find your equipment in our armory, base of the tower just outside. Now, once you're outside the base, it's my personal suggestion you make a beeline to the nearby Aceli's plant. It contains one of our field caches. Though, I can't guarantee it won't contain anything else. I hope you all find what you're looking for out there. Robot, you're coming with me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Commander. Percival, you all set to hook into their comms tower? Should only take a few minutes. Let's get this done and get the hell out of here. Percival will be scanning the city for our samples from here. When he finds one, he'll transmit the coordinates to us out in the field. All right. Head over to the armory and gear up. Once you're done, we'll meet by the entrance to the city. Junk you're hauling is seriously slowing you down. Whatever you need, you bring me anything useful? to temporarily restore power to most facilities in the city. All set on your gear? You... Are you ready to do this? That's... That's damn right we are. Come on. Let's get out there. Kaiser? Percival, everything green on your ends? I am ready. So calm should be routed through Kaiser now. You copy that?
facility. Okay. We close enough for you to dial in the location of those samples from here? Yes. They're faint. But I'm detecting multiple valid signatures. I have restored power to the containers. Jackpot! Get down there and collect as many as you can. going to work.
Samples collected. All right. Now hand those over to Kaiser, and let's get out of here. Samples secure. Nice work. Now, earlier scan picked up a valid terminal sample, but, well, it's in the spaceport. And the quick route there looks like it got blasted when the port did. There are steam tunnels on it. Kaiser, this Flora, this is Lazarus' plant, isn't it? Confirmed. You know, no one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. Can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinian. Real marvel. All these leeches. What's keeping you things warm? be some of the only what's what's happening are you seeing this oh my god the heat leeches are terramorphs but no it can't be true Heat leeches are everywhere. They live everywhere. That means terramorphs. Oh my god. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing my mind. That heat leech became a terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs. Heat leeches hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then with time they transform. We... we just found out how terramorphs move between planets. No, Lazarus plants can't grow anywhere but here, let alone blossom. People have tried. Plus, if what we just witnessed was happening anywhere else, well, it wouldn't just be Londinian lost to these things. What we just saw, it, it must be some kind of alternate growth method. One that winnows 70 years of maturation into seconds. It's incredible. What are heat leeches? They're one of the most successful pests in the known universe. Tough as titanium, they sneak onto planets by hiding in ship engines, build nests on anything that puts out warmth, animate or otherwise, and make more leeches. 
But I guess what they're actually doing with all that energy they've been siphoning is fueling one hell of a transformation. Which explains how something as big as a Terramorph has been spreading between worlds with no one noticing. Until now. That I don't have an answer for right now. But if they share a genome, like most nymphs and adults do, the microbes should have no problem dealing with heat leeches and terramorphs. The Asilis will have to look into, but given what we know about the creatures, I, mean, I wouldn't be shocked to find that they've got an appetite for both. Pretty Major is right, but if what we just saw, if that's possible, the Lazarus plant, it's clearly an accelerant for the terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other in an instant. But that means if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city or even multiple leeches into a place like New Atlantis. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have set that up? But first, you'd have to know the truth about all this. Well, we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing, get after it! We may proceed. Go! on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you understand what it is we just stumbled on here? Exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant and realized the ends it could be put to. A bioweapon no one would recognize as one. Oh, that's a terrifying prospect. Sort of thing that'll keep you up at night. And the sort of thing whoever did this probably didn't expect us to uncover. Makes some sense, actually. Tau Seti was likely their first test. Someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And the timing of that one. It couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the cabinet to do something about the terramorphs these attacks i think someone planned them to set all this in motion i can't at least i didn't think it could but maybe if we're right about this someone found a way certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why?
Let's save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're gonna do anything to prevent more terror morph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser, get us into the spaceport. The entrance is this way.
Back in business. Warning. Emergency recorder message detected. Transcription process engaged. Playback initiated. Admiral Sanon, we need to make the evacuation request. That's... That's my father he's addressing. He was here? Didn't think he'd have the guts to look those soldiers in the eye before blowing this place to pieces. Admiral! It just... transformed. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Colonel, the troops that closed off the sewers after my evaluation, they're all in this facility. Other than our casualties, yes, sir. Good. Get them into defensive positions around the spaceport. No one leaves. I'll send ships as soon as possible. Thank God. None of us wanted to go down swarmed by those things. That won't be your fate, Colonel. You have my word. Transcription complete. Physical copy available. An invisible weapon. He knew. He knew about the Lazarus plant. Grab that recording. We... We should talk. Carrying too many odds and ends. Time to let something go. Hey, Victus. He destroyed this place. Killed these people to keep what he knew about the Lazarus plan and the terror morphs and all this a secret. Didn't he? said it all. He saw the potential of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people. Condemned this city to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. He was a... was... Oh, you make it sound like a miscalculation, when in reality it was an unmitigated disaster. And look where we are now. Oh, some secret. A calculated loss. The soldiers for the rest of the galaxy. That sounds exactly like what my father would do. But it doesn't, it can't justify slaughter. But I guess... I guess that's just another part of his sick legacy now. He thought he was protecting us all, taking the secret to his grave. Only he didn't succeed. Now someone else knows about the Lazarus plant and is using it exactly how he feared. systems are counting on us.
Now just stash that sample with Kaiser and we're done. Final sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Privately. On it. See you soon. to haul whatever you need. Thank <laughs> you. 